secret, the little moon that held the world's fate. In a far-off corner of the universe, there was a small and mysterious moon named Luna. Unlike other moons that orbited grand planets, Luna was special. She glowed with a soft, silvery light, and legends whispered that Luna held secrets, secrets about the fate of the world below. The world that Luna watched over was called Terra, a planet full of life, beauty, and wonder. But Luna knew something that the people of Terra did not. Deep within her glowing core was a hidden power, one that could either protect Terra or bring about its end. One night, as Luna shone brightly in the sky, a curious and brave little girl named Alara lay awake in her bed, gazing up at the moon. Alara had always been fascinated by Luna, and she often wondered what secrets the moon might hold. She could feel in her heart that Luna was more than just a distant light in the sky. That night, as Alara stared at Luna, something magical happened. A soft voice, like a whisper carried on the wind, reached her ears. Alara, the voice said, "I need your help." Alara sat up in bed. Her eyes wide with surprise. Who's there? She asked, her voice trembling with excitement. It is I, Luna. The voice replied gently. The time has come to reveal my secret, and I have chosen you to help me protect Terra. Alara couldn't believe her ears. The moon was speaking to her. Without hesitation, she whispered, "What must I do, Luna?" There is a key, Luna explained. A golden key hidden deep within the enchanted forest near your home. This key can unlock my hidden power and guide it to protect Terra. But beware. Alara, there are forces that wish to use this power for darkness. You must find the key before they do. Alara felt a mix of fear and determination. She knew the enchanted forest well, but she had never imagined it held such an important secret. She quickly dressed. Grabbed her lantern and set off into the night. The forest was quiet and mysterious under Luna's soft glow. Shadows danced among the trees, and the air was filled with the scent of pine and earth. The Lara walked carefully, guided by Luna's light and the whispers of the wind. After what seemed like hours. Alara found herself in a small clearing. In the center, nestled among the roots of a giant oak tree, was a golden key shimmering in the moonlight. Alara's heart raced as she reached for it, but just as her fingers touched the key, a dark shadow emerged from the trees. It was a tall, hooded figure with eyes that glowed like embers. The key belongs to me. The figure hissed, reaching out to snatch it. Alara quickly grabbed the key and held it close. No. Luna's power is meant to protect Terra, not harm it. She cried. Her voice filled with courage. In that moment, Luna's light grew brighter, filling the clearing with a brilliant, blinding glow. The dark figure shrieked and vanished into the shadows, unable to withstand Luna's pure light. 
The Lara felt a warmth in her hand as the golden key began to glow. She knew what she had to do. Holding the key up to the sky, she whispered, Luna, I'm ready. The key rose from her hand, floating towards Luna. As it reached the moon, a radiant beam of light shot down from Luna, enveloping Terra in a protective embrace. The world was safe. Thank you, Alara. Luna's voice echoed softly. You have saved Terra. And my secret is now safe with you. Alara smiled, her heart full of pride and wonder. She knew that she had been part of something truly magical, a guardian of the world's fate. From that night on, whenever Alara looked up at the moon, she knew that Luna was watching over her, and all of Terra, with a secret power, waiting to protect the world once more if needed.